end you with another word on the street segment make sure you like comment subscribe and share my video so mr carlos king himself honey sat down via video chat <laughs> with miss mariah for married to medicine and they got into some things about married to medicine about the lawsuit as well as about how she was really supposed to be on real housewives of atlanta not cynthia bailey now i'm like hold up <laughs> You definitely gonna have to give me the tea on this one. So, we all know she was the creator and she was also a castmate on Marriage to Medicine. And, you know, she wanted her just do or whatever. But Carlos King actually interviewed her to be a part of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she said they was paying now. They was paying. But she did not want to settle for that. She wants to be her own boss, have her own reality TV show showing, you know, the life of doctor wives. Or hell, just the doctors in general. <laughs> so, because um, Jackie, she's a doctor and with Simone, Dr. Heavily. So, not necessarily doctor wives, but also the doctors too. And so, she, you know, she turned down the offer. But looking back, I wondered if she was like, hmm, maybe I should have took that and then still brunched on out. I don't know, but let's listen to see what she had to say in his podcast. I might remember now to put the a link in his podcast in the description box below, but if I don't, I know y'all can find it anywhere. Hell, y'all probably heard it, but, you know, we're going to do a little bit and clip over here. I knew that Real Housewives of Atlanta would have been amazing for me. My career would have gave me a reach beyond mm -hmm. i knew that creating my own was a step in the direction that god wanted me to go that's right do your own thing don't be here for the the nine minority man okay don't be here for sam and bob do your own thing create your own lane they already took you know what let me not go let me not go there so, so it was hard and i pitched they told me no initially when i pitched the show mm -hmm. yeah so let us know the story explain to us how you started from creating the show to pitch it to being on the air give us that quick recap and they initially came to me for house of the season three the season they was casting cynthia initially and aiden was like giving me pushback which i was shocked you know and he was like yeah you? and because you know this is still unscripted tv it was a little different and initially you know different careers look kind of turned their nose down at unscripted i'm just keeping it real and it had and it wasn't in atlanta it was still it was kind of still new in atlanta so to make a long story short he was like you know what i want you to get back home even though i Hey, her you know. love doing. I know you love TV, but this isn't right for us. I'm like, this is perfect for us. Hello? And then he was like, well, just tell the story that you've been telling, which is the truth. It was like living, working, and playing with the doctors and everything. So I, I, I started doing my own. Oh. What y'all think about that, Miss? I don't know if it's old to some of y'all, new to some of y'all, because hell, it's new to me because I really wasn't keeping up with Married to Medicine after probably like season three, hell, season two. You know, it. I just fell off of a lot of reality TV shows. Um, but yeah, did y'all know that she was supposed to initially be on Real Housewives of Atlanta, as well as she was supposed to be in Cynthia Place, but she said no. I got bigger dreams, baby. I got bigger dreams. I ain't trying to work for the white man. <laughs> oh, and also, I didn't know she didn't like um, Kenya and Marlo. But see, I could see why. Because I could just see the clash and just going from here to here to here to here. Because they all got some big ass personalities as well as their mouth. I mean, they lethal with their shades, honey. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next word in the street. Be pretty.